Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spen. On this edition, the Army Field Band goes back to school. It's STEM Day for the Scouts. Also, a look at this week's 9-11 observance. These stories and more, but first, September is National Suicide Prevention Month. Here's Garrison Commander Colonel Ed Rothstein with an appeal to the entire community. Hi, I'm Colonel Ed Rothstein. You've read the reports and seen the statistics. More than 200 soldiers, active in reserve, officer enlisted, deployed and non-deployed, have taken their own lives in the last year and we must do better at every level. People and programs are in place right here at Fort Meade to help. Whether it's Kimbrough, the Army Community Services, or our chapels, we must reach out and identify those at risk. Shoulder to shoulder, we stand up for life. Fort Meade will hold a suicide prevention training day on September 26th. Stay tuned to Meade TV for details. Meanwhile, hundreds of local area scouts converged on Fort Meade on Saturday for the first ever Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math or STEM Merit Badge Day. According to Special Guest Speaker, National Security Agency Deputy Commander John Inglis, success in science and math education is critical to our nation's future. And I'm also here as a customer, as the Chief Operating Officer of the National Security Agency. We hire a lot of people. Last year we hired almost 2,000 people, and the folks who were science, technology, engineering, math, they were at the head of the line. In other news, although the U.S. Army Field Band is constantly on the road, Fort Meade is home. Recently, a few members of the band visited schools across Maryland to perform instrument demonstrations. The Field Band's Jonathan Agee has more. The Army Field Band has been thrilling audiences of all ages for more than six decades. At the start of the school year, soldiers of the United States Army Field Band conducted instrument demonstrations for Maryland students in 25 different schools throughout the state. The flute actually usually plays a lot higher. Do you guys want to hear how high the flute can go? Yeah. Yeah. do demonstrations of our individual instruments for the kids that are about to go into the band program. And the idea is that we, by bringing excellence into the schools, we inspire the kids to join the band program with the ultimate goal of promoting excellence through music. Because we want to show you how awesome all these instruments sound up here and hopefully we have most of you guys picking something for the school year. That'd be really cool. After the soldiers demonstrated each individual instrument, they closed the show with a group performance. Jonathan Agee, the United States Army Field Band, reporting. In a moment, we'll close with a look at Fort Meade's 9-11 observance, but first a reminder from MWR and the Post Library. On September 27th, the library is hosting Mrs. L. Brown, the 2012 Army Military Spouse of the Year. She'll be here for the library's Books on Bases program. Books on Bases is a program created by Blue Star Families and Kids in Distress Situations, or KIDS, to positively impact the lives of military children through reading. So check out Books for Bases and meet the Army's 2012 Spouse of the Year. That's September 27th at the Post Library. Finally on this edition, a look at this week's 9-11 ceremony. One year removed from the 10th anniversary, ceremonies were more subdued this year, not just at Fort Meade, but across the country. Despite that, the message remains the same. We will never forget. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Meade TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Meade week. The ringing of the bell and the firefighter's prayer are two traditions of the fire service which reflect respect and honor to those who gave their lives to their duty. The ringing of the bell represents the end of the emergency and the return to the quarters, and is usually three, ring, three rings of the bell three times. This was done as long ago as 1865 in the New York City Fire Department to inform the rank and file of the death of President Abraham Lincoln. The tradition reflects respect and honor to those who gave their lives to their duty. A distinctive bell ringing marks the end of an emergency and a return to quarters. Therefore, in memory of all who died during the attacks on September 11, 2001, and so to those who selflessly given their lives for the good of their fellow Americans, their tasks completed, their duties well done, to our fallen comrades, their last alarm, they are going home.